Morning guys, it's the second day here in Seoul. Excited, today I'm gonna to be taking a tour. Now normally I don't really take tour because I think it's a little lame, but the places that we wanna to go to, this tour hits it. So for once, I'm thinking this tour is actually worth it, yeah. So I'm getting picked up actually downstairs below this beautiful park. This is I think called Namsan Yejang Park, yeah. It's kinda of lovely because there's no one around. And the weather right now is actually kinda of cool. Even though the sun's out and it's a little warm, but you kind of have that kind of chill morning breeze, which is really good. A bit of a boy's trip here until we hit Japan, then I think Helmi's friend's gonna join us as well. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of crazy. It's gonna be a lot of people and it's gonna be fun. So this is our tour guide right here. He's holding the number seven flag. <laughs> so apparently the same company is doing like 15 other tours here. So everyone's sort of like getting picked up in the same area here. Can you guys please buckle up your seatbelt first? All right, take some nice rest here. I'll wake you up there. All right, so we are here at our first stop after like about an hour on the bus. I took a little nap because I was so tired. Yeah, so this uh, particular area that we're in, it's like a man-made building. In this section where I'm at is actually the Italian section. And down the bottom is Petite France, which is sort of more uh, French kind of type of building. I don't know, interesting. I'm kind of like looking for food though. I'm very, very hungry, haven't eaten, haven't eaten, haven't had my coffee too. Well, found a place that sells coffee, so I'll take it. Probably won't be the best, but hey, new one. And funny thing is they call everything Americano here. Um, very used to saying it long black, but yeah, it's the same thing. Well, not too much happening around here. Uh, very small area though. Um, yeah, but like some nice structures to take photos, uh, but nothing I'm overly excited about. <laughs> so hopefully the petite front's a little bit more interesting. Uh, this is a toilet, but it's one of the nice looking toilets. Because obviously I can't read that, so I thought that was a theater. We went in and it's actually <laughs> a toilet. Okay, so the front section seems to be more interesting. You got a lot of really nice building and structures and um, decorations. So yeah, I definitely like the France one a little bit better than the Italian one. So we got about an hour and a half uh, before we have to go back to the bus and then it will take us to, I think, Nami Island or maybe Gunchong rail bikes, not sure which one, but whichever it is, I'm gonna be more excited, I think. <laughs> so we're walking this trail right now, and supposedly when you get up to the top, you can see down the lake, which is a very, very beautiful spot. Yeah, that's what the, our tour guide told us. And I'm a big fan of views, so this should be pretty good. I mean, if it's gonna be an effortful journey to the top, then it has to be good, right? So it's almost May now, so it's getting warmer here and I guess it's spring here. Uh, so you can see a little bit of the color when you get to Nami Island. But the island is really famous because of uh, the 2002 uh, Korean drama called Winter Sonata, which I've never watched by the way, but Helmi has. This is actually my second time here in Nami Island, first time with Helmi. Um, Helmi also has been here twice, one with her mom as well. But when she went, it was snowing. So you just imagine everything's white. It's insane. It's so bloody cold as well and windy. Luckily today, not windy at all. And um, it's a nice, perfect day, kind of warm, about 20 degrees. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check out a bit of the nature here. 
but I don't think you can escape the crowd. It's just so many people, no matter what time you're here. So we're now at this little traditional, I guess, Korean uh, restaurant in Nami Island itself. So there are plenty of restaurants you can choose from, but also at the bus terminal where we came in, there's a lot of restaurants out there as well. So yeah, you either eat breakfast really early in the morning before uh, taking this tour, or you can eat lunch here. All right, so we got a little bit of a feast here. We got the seafood pancake, and I got myself the bulgogi hot pot, which has uh, spring onion there, some milky mushroom, and all the beef in a soupy kind of form. First up, we gotta, gotta try the beef for sure. Okay, I blew my expectation. It was actually sweet. It was quite soft there, like really brittle as well. Kind of like really melts in your mouth. But I love the spring onion here. Like gave that texture, the enoki mushroom there, like a bit of a garlicky, but the, such a beefy broth as well. Warm, hearty, really good. Oh yeah. That soup right there is so murky in color, but it is so sweet when you drink it. It's better than what I thought it was gonna be. Not bad. The first time I was here in Naimi Island with Helmi, we decided to get on the bike. Not the electric one, but this one. The normal bike, okay? So Helmi, she can't cycle, okay? She can't get on the bicycle and ride it. So she has to sit in the back, and I was sitting in the front, okay? So we were going around Nami Island and you know, we we're all doing fine, everyone's doing their leg work and suddenly I felt really heavy, right? And it was a straight line, straight road and it turns out I looked back and tell me he wasn't even pedaling. But maybe this time around we'll get on uh, the electric one. We're gonna get on the bike now, the electric one. There will be no effort from me today. <laughs> you know getting ready? <laughs> This is the only way to explore Nami Island from now on. This is a lot of fun though, seriously. Getting on the electric bike, it's so effortless, you know, to travel around Nami Island. We got about 30 minutes. It costs about $10, uh, but yeah, it's just so beautiful. The scenery is around here, uh, the trees. If you love nature, I think Nami Island is really, really great. Really beautiful, a lot of like scenic uh, vantage points. So uh, that's just beautiful, really, really beautiful. Okay, so this is the last activity on the tour. It's called a Gangton Rail Park, I believe. And yes, this is something I'm most looking forward to because my sister went um, a couple months ago and um, I wanted to do it. So you go through like these tracks, the train tracks, and you go through a series of tunnels that is just like, you know, it's almost like a vivid, you know, there's like a lot of lights, a lot of um, uh, beautiful uh, scenic views that you can do as well. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Alright, and with that guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go eat uh, this place called Hanam Pig. Because apparently the tour guide said it's really, really good as a local. Okay, so I'm gonna eat them, but unfortunately, we're gonna close this episode right here. And I'm gonna be showing that on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure to subscribe as well.